Hi friends, this is Plant Lover Neil and you are watching Plant Smeller. In today's video, I'll show you how I made a DIY sifter for sifting my compost as well as sifting uh, soil. There are two types of sifters that I have made depending upon how fine the material has to pass through and this I have made using easily available materials. I have already made them. So I'll show you how I did it. So keep watching Plant Smeller. So these are my two sifters you can see this is one made of stainless steel mesh and this is I made using styrofoam so these both are, are used for different purposes this is used to filter soil basically we have got here clay soil so it has got quite fine particles all the clay soil particles goes through this mesh and then we get extremely fine clay soil I'll show you what we get and why I am filtering my clay soil so you can see this is I have made the filtered soil you can see over here so this removes all the big granules stones and any other impurities and you get a very fine clay soil this soil I am using to irrigate my plants from the bottom so this is excellent in wicking water from the bottom so even if you place a little bit of water at the bottom of the pot and with this growing medium the soil completely wicks up to the top so that's what that's why i've made this soil now let's look at the sifter which is the main topic you can see this mesh you can find at any hardware store this, this mesh is basically used to keep the mosquitoes out so you can tell the um, hardware store to provide a mesh for covering the window so it's extremely fine there are different you can find different uh, sizes of mesh and depending on your requirement you can make this this i made earlier you can see the design is quite simple you have to take a rectangular piece of this metal screen and then roll it up in a cylinder like this this is a single rectangular sheet i have rolled it up and then i have joined the two edges using staples and some hot glue you can also use paper clips this i have used paper clips to join the bottom this will be more sturdier so basically what you have to do is if the paper clips are quite thick and not going through the this mesh then you can use a scissor to slightly widen up these holes and then insert the paper clip so you have to straighten the paper clip and then you'll get a straight piece of metal insert one piece and you can basically create a very large stapler out of the paper clip this is what the idea was so you can see over here this is a stapler kind of created from a paper clip so Insert the two ed ends in the between these two rectangular sheets and then from the inside or from the outside press it so that it becomes a large paper clip, large staple. In the bottom you have to do the same thing. Take a rectangular sheet of metal mesh and then at the edges you can fold it up like this and press it to give it a shape and wherever these two are joining you can use this paper clip as large staples insert them and then fold them at, at the outside so that this entire thing stays put when you place the soil so basically what i do is i just put the soil in here and then i and it's quite efficient it doesn't take a lot of time especially if the material is very dry and there are not many large chunks so in that case it works quite efficiently the other sifter that are made from thermocol or you can say polypropylene is this is i use for sifting my compost pile when i when the compost is ready i'll show you what i do is i place this in compost try to break it as much as possible using hand with big chunks and then sift it using this so in this holes are quite big but what these big holes does is it prevents the twigs from going through so since the twigs are quite wider than these holes they remain in the this filter and we get a compost rate from the we get the compost rate from the twigs and at, i have also shared this in my com, how to make homemade compost video what basically we have over here is these small leaves you can see this is the main component of our compost and these usually come with the twigs these huge twigs these twigs are not that much of a hindrance for plant growth but we use the compost for doing seedlings and for growing seedlings you require a 
a very even and even medium which does not have large chunks which will hinder the root development also we use it for growing cuttings so in those particular scenarios you don't need a compost with twigs so for that purpose i have made this filter and we after fil filtering the compost pile you get a very even and very um, fine compost it will not be extremely fine because that's why i made these huge holes but it will be it will, it will get rid of all the main main chunks that are mostly twigs or some undecomposed like plastic sometimes cut, gets into the compost pile not huge chunks but small plastic wrappers or something like that so that will get rid you'll get rid of that undecomposed material and if there are some things that is required for the composting you can again use that you can use the residue and again put it in the compost for a second time so that it will get further break, get breakdown this you can how i've created these holes are quite easy you have to use some kind of metal rod this rod i've used basically this has to be hollow and you simply have to push it with slight pressure and rotate it and automatically the thermocol polystyrene will get uh, dis detached from the outside it doesn't it doesn't require a lot of force so ideally you should do it from the this side because when it comes out the whole size increases like you can see over here if you press it more then the whole size will get bigger so to avoid getting such big big holes on the outside you instead of pressing you try to drill it through that means you have to rotate it while pressing it that way it will not get the whole size will not increase like this so i have made the holes from this side so on this side you can see the whole size are not that big but on the outside you can see it's quite big some some holes are extremely big so this is how i made this this, this is quite easy and this is quite nifty because it's extremely difficult to remove these twigs with from your hand and you can use this for other purposes also this is one of the use case i in fact i, I can prevent the twigs from going in the compost itself see i'll show you now uh, one second so you can see all these leaves are from the tree and this all have got twigs in them you can see over here so to easily get rid of this simply collect a lot of this and place it in this some big ones can be removed by hand okay now come over here take a sack or anything so that the, you can collect the residue and just do like this you can see at the bottom only the leaves are going through you see how quickly it is getting rid of all the leaves this is quite helpful if your leaf size is small if the leaf size is larger then it will not be that much of help some twigs and some large leaves are remaining and the bottom you get a compost you can compost this thing you have dried leaves and similar thing you can do with the compost also if your compost has got these twigs and some large pieces of wood or anything it will get rid of it so i hope your friends you like this video if yes smack that like button share this video with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel plants matter thanks for watching friends see you later bye